today we're going to be making a Hellfire Club journal cover. Like every other geek out there, we love D&D and Stranger Things. In anticipation of the final episodes of Season 4 coming out this week, we thought it'd be fun to make a Hellfire cover for our Field Note D&D books. Being a crafting YouTube channel, we've accumulated a ton of supplies. We got this leather from a Ren Fair back in Wisconsin and figured, no time like the present to use it. I would have preferred a slightly thicker leather for this project, but I wanted to use what we had on hand and not have to buy anything new. There are some great templates available online for this exact kind of journal cover. In fact, one of our Patreon members pointed us in the direction of a great one. Links will be in the description below. Because our D&D field notes are a bit larger than standard field notes, I opted to just eyeball the pattern. I laid two books down to get a good idea of size, leaving about a quarter of an inch around the edges for stitching. Once I felt the size was good, I worked on making the inside pockets that the covers would slide into. I wanted the journal covers to have a good amount of room to slide into, so they would stay secure. I found a measurement I was happy with and duplicated it for each side. I scored the leather to mark where I wanted the cut to be, and then, with a sharp blade, I cut the pieces out. I wanted to make sure that I included an elastic band as well, so that the book would stay closed when not in use. This band would be sewn into the stitching once we get to that side of the book. So I'll, I'll do that tighter, mm -hmm. but this is essentially what we're going for. With everything lined up and looking good, I made sure everything was nice and trim, and I rounded the corners. I scored a line with this tool that I genuinely don't know the name of, and then started punching the stitching holes. With the holes punched, I sewed for a few hours under the watchful eye of Eos the cat. I am using two needles and two pieces of wax thread at one time, working the threads down the entire piece in tandem with one another. I believe this is called a saddle stitch, but in researching saddle stitches, this is typically done with one thread, so consider this wrong, but it worked for me. There are a ton of good tutorial videos out there on YouTube, so I'd recommend checking out those if you really want to learn the proper way to do the stitch and watching this for entertainment. Now, this wouldn't be a One Geek's Craft video if I didn't find out a way to use the laser, so I put the entire finished piece inside the Glowforge and engraved the outside. For the past three years, I've had a no leather in the laser rule because it always smelled well, uh, terrible. And I broke that rule because I wanted a cool notebook cover. And because of this, my house smelled quite terrible for quite some time. To finish up the cover art, I decided to paint the areas where the color should be. I made sure to do this extremely carefully because I didn't have any masking tape down on the leather, and I really didn't want to get paint where it didn't belong. Last but not least was burnishing the edges. This step was to keep the cover looking great for years to come. It will keep the edges from looking frayed and damaged over time. Mm -hmm. 
When that burnishing is complete, it's time to load up the notebooks and take a look at the final shots. As always, we want to give a huge shout out to our Patreon members. It's because of you guys we can make whatever we want in our workshop, so we genuinely appreciate every single one of you. We love D&D and love accumulating D&D things for our collection. It's always fun to make something that we will be actively using, like this journal cover. If you want to make this for yourself, we'll have the files available over on Patreon. Links in the description below. Thanks so much guys, and see you next time! <laughs>